you're back we're back we're back in communion with one another and i'm super excited i'm very happy i'm very grateful i'm grateful to have the peace and space of mind to share with you today to come before you to take the time to center myself so that i can receive what i am to give Give, give, giving of a full heart, giving of a full spirit. And I'm just excited to restart, to uh, resume the hard healing work that we had begun that I hope that you've continued because I have continued even in my own absence from this moment that we take together. I have continued and I'm immensely inspired um, but do me a favor, please ignore what you hear happening around you. Um, I live in a major city, so you might hear some cars, some sirens, some bangs, but this is the best space in my space to record. So um, just be centered with me, be one with me. <laughs> I love that term, be one with me um, as we resume as we restart, as we regain our momentum that we had going on. And I do, first of all, want to restore my art with you all, anyone who's been waiting or who's been hoping or who's been following and wondered what happened to Lady Black light worker what happened to the work we were starting and i just want to tell you that life be life in and sometimes i get uh i have feelings of overwhelm because there's a lot to do in the day and there's a lot to do in life and there's a lot of growth that we all are engaging in on a regular basis and sometimes that um, growth takes us places that we don't necessarily want to go or sometimes it just stagnates us and I want to be um, completely transparent and the message that I was given to share with you today completely coincides with what I've been going through over the last few months, few weeks and that is the constant lesson of life. There and here we go. Before I even get to it, let me pray because I want to be sure that the words that I share with you and the message that you receive are the same. I want to be sure that my intent is not betrayed by my <clears throat> tone, that my intent is not betrayed by my word, that my intent is, co is one in the same as, and that the spirit is joined and connected with my tongue. So let me pray first. Let me pray. Almighty Mother, Father, Creator of the heavens of the end of the earth, we thank you. We thank you for love, life. All praises are due to the one most high divine for love, light, and life, for peace, balance, and blessings, for truth, justice, order, equality, reciprocity, for bringing us together today on one accord, for the healing, for the life that we live, for the breath in our lungs. For the journey that we're on, we praise you, Almighty Creator. We thank you, Almighty Creator. We thank you for the obstacles. We thank you for the rain. We thank you for the trials and tribulations. We thank you for the darkness because we know from the darkness comes the light. We thank you, Almighty Creator, for, for all of the many challenges that we have because we know that steel sharpens steel and we know that we are being we are being formed and we are being molded and we are being transformed and we are being inspired through these um through these experiences that make us better that make us whole that make us stronger that heal us that focus us we pray in your most precious and divine name for continued for continued for continued blessings for continued healing for continued shaping and molding we pray in thanksgiving all this we pray in your most precious and divine name to our winter this is going to be a short message because i'm having some challenges with my phone but also because it's not much to say it's very direct and straightforward and to the point. And the point is, the message that I've been 
just sitting with and um, it's been churning and it's been churning on my heart is that we all need to learn our lessons. There are some life lessons that are with us constantly that we are working through, working on all the time, that no matter what they do, they show up. No matter what you do, no matter how many times you think you've gotten over it, they come back at some point. These are life lessons. And these life lessons are meant to keep you focused. They are meant to for us to continue to struggle with there are things that you're masterful at there are things that are total talents that you use that and that come easy to you that are just complete ease and then there are things that you know you do well but there's no challenge there's but they're also not perfections they're not like you're not the best at it but you know you get the job done but then there are those things and they're usually uh, they're usually character driven or character molding, character shaping things, things like discipline, things like um, knowing your tone, being aware of your tone, things like being aware of whether you're being judgmental or not, things like um, consistency. These are lifelong challenges. Hope keeping, knowing when you're angry, knowing how to manage your anger. These are lifelong challenges that God has given us to make us even more brighter stars. These are, and I'll, I'll share you with you what mine are. Mine are, and there's so many, sometimes we're blessed with a plethora of challenges, right? And, but the main ones for me that continue to be a challenge for me are, I mentioned them, consistency, discipline, and, um, consistency, discipline, and stick to itiveness, as I call it. It's the ability to follow through, the ability to follow through on a plan to its end. Uh, I'm a starter. I'm not necessarily a finisher. I am not routine oriented. I am in some areas of my life discipline is easy or it's not as much of a challenge like with my diet. Um, but in other areas of my life it can be very challenging like with keeping a consistent routine to uh, exercise. So these are character molding. These are the big things that make us better human beings, that make us more fulfilled in life, that make us more driven or more just self-aware. And we will face these challenges probably our entire life because these they're the things that we came here with to learn and be not afraid don't fret you are not alone we are all going through the same the same experience we all have different challenges so that experience looks different to each of us but we're all going through the honing through the sharpening through the betterment of ourselves through the making of our most divine version of ourselves so i encourage you in this moment to take look at those challenges head on to smile when you see them to open your heart and embrace them to Say to yourself, I may not master this in this lifetime, but I will manage this in this lifetime and I will get better with every single challenge and every single moment that, um, that I face where these challenges are um, obstructing me or these challenges are um, 
challenging me. <laughs> but the point and the 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 uh, crux of the message I must share that I'm here to share is that these challenges are making you better. The fact that you see them. If you don't see what your challenges are, take a moment to analyze your life. Take a moment to analyze the obstacles you've been through and how you responded to them. Take a moment to look at what you, you've brought to the table when you are faced with a struggle or a trial and how you've reacted to that. What are the things in your life, the behaviors in your life that you would like to change, that have constantly been something that you'd like to change, that have, it's been something you knew you wanted to change since you were 21, 25, 28, and now you're 35, 45, 58. What are the challenges? You might have even identified them younger than 20. You might have identified them in your teenage years, but didn't know how to name it. Um, these are things that build you, that grow you. That growing pains is a term for a reason because they're very uncomfortable. But they grow you. They make you better. They make you shine. They polish you. They make you sharp. And the goal of all of that polishing and sharpening and growing is to infuse you with the strength, the power, the light to be your most divine self. So that next time you have a challenge, it doesn't hurt quite as much. And then soon enough, once you're aware and once you're conscious and once you're working towards towards your best self you are it will may always be a challenge but you're aware you're aware of your triggers you're aware of your response your normal responses you're aware of how those responses do not serve you and you're willing to put them aside to try something new to take a deep breath to breathe in it, to surrender to it. Sometimes the answer is not to challenge yourself, but to surrender to yourself. Sometimes the answer is to say, yeah, that's me. I'm gonna stick beside me. But the growth is in challenging yourself not to change, but to modify, to manage, to know how it affects others, to know how it affects you in, in spaces and in times where it's not a positive thing, where it hurts you. And to work around that, take that deep breath, let it go. Just say to yourself, you know what, I'm about to, I'm about to fall into that habit again. Or I, I'm going to um, give myself some grace, you know, um, and allow this moment to pass. And if necessary, I'm going to restore my art with those who I may have harmed when I was in this state. And as you begin to acknowledge who you are, how you are, why you are, when you are, you start to be able to manage those things better. And, um, but just know that these divine, these lessons are divine. These lessons are meant for you. They are um, beautiful. These challenges are beautiful black soil, mud rich, luscious mud that you're growing from, lotus flower. And you can appreciate, love, and learn from it. That's it, that's all. 
I love you dearly and I thank you for joining me. I um, pray for myself to be consistent and to be disciplined and to join you again next week.